Look, here's 8.20 and negative exponents. And, and let me start with a statement here that says any number to the zero power is equal to 1. So 10 to the zero power is equal to 1. 6 to the zero power is equal to 1. And I use this exaggerated huge number um, because I wanted to show you that 356,689,321 raised to the zero power is equal to 1. Easy to memorize. Let's say by chance you're on a test and you have a calculator and you forgot what is all those numbers are equal to. All you have to do is write any number. I'm going to put 56 in this calculator. I'm going to raise it to, hit that raise button, the zero power. And I'm going to hit equals. And I get, oops, I must have done something wrong here. I'm going to go 56 raised to the zero power should equal to 1. There it is. I don't know what I hit. That was wrong. So you could use a calculator to confirm your suspicion or the rules of this. So now let's see how we deal with um, negative exponents. In this case, I have a negative 3 here on top. And what you do is whenever you have a neg negative exponent, if you want to work with that exponent, you have to make it positive. And how you make that positive is you put whatever that number is, you, put, you invert it, and you put 5 over 3. And this gives you how you can work with that negative exponent. So notice that I put it over, over, um, over 1. And so what you do at this point, then you just figure it out, and you find that your answer is 1 divided by 125 is the simplest form of this 5 to the negative third power. Uh, once again, let me bring out the calculator so you can see how to do this on the calculator. I'm going to bring it down over here. Um, the calculator is interesting in that um, the most scientific calculators allow you to do plus or minus, and in this case, here's the plus or minus section of the calculator. So I'm going to put um, 5. Uh, I'm going to try to, oops, I, I've got a pencil here instead of my pointer. I want 5. Uh, close, link, uh, I don't want to do that. Uh, for, I'm sure I'm not sure what that was about. We just go up here and we go 5. Let me try that again. Oh, I have a bunch of errors here. Okay, I'm back. I finally got this fixed up here. So let's do this again. So we're doing 5 raised to the third power, make sure it's negative, should equal to 0 0.008. So we did on a calculator, we got point. Oops, let me get my numbers here. Uh, 0.008. Let me go back to my calculator now. And I'm sure you're asking yourself right now, well, how do I know that 0.008 is the same as 125? Oh, you, uh, 1 over 125, you go 1, and then you hit the divide button right here. And you hit 125, and you hit equals, and it's 0 0.008. So <clears throat> there I've confirmed it with the calculator and how, showed you how to use a calculator in order to determine, use a negative integer in order to um, find your, um, in order to get your, your integer from a negative to a positive and what you have to do. Let's try this one. 2 to the 0 power. Well, what's 2? Any number to the 0 power is 1 times, and this says 4, it should be like this, 1 over 4 to the negative 2. You're like, well, Mr. Galicia, what? this negative is already on the bottom, so how do I make, get rid of it? I need to move it to the top. So what is the reciprocal, or the inverse, sorry, of this? The inverse of this is flipping it over to 4 over 1, and this becomes positive, which... 4 squared is 1 times 8, sorry, not 8, 16. I had a student do that yesterday, which is equal to 16 is my final answer on that. Once again, you can try to confirm that by um, using your calculator to figure that out. Let me go up one here, right here, right now. This one is like the toughest ones that you'll find. 
because in this one you have a parenthesis which is to the uh, you, you see right here it's to the negative one power and if you remember PEMDAS that PEM DOS. Remember that you do parentheses first. So let's deal with this parentheses first. The big picture. Um, is there anything I could do inside? Mm, I could some, but let's deal with the whole parentheses first. In this case, I want to make this to the first power. I want to make uh, get rid of the negative. And the way I do that is I flip it over, which now gives me 2x... I think that should be to the negative one power over negative four x to the two power. Notice that we didn't get rid of the negative because we just flipped the whole thing and we didn't work with the exponent within the problem there. We just dealt with the whole problem. Now, I want to get rid of this negative which is on top right here. Well, how do I do that? I need to do the reciprocal, or sorry, the inverse again, which means I need to move it down to the bottom, which now gives me x to the first power. Remember, the negative is gone because I moved to the bottom. Extend my page here for a second. So I've gotten rid of this from here, and now I can combine these two. When I multiply exponents, I add the exponent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Um, 2 over a negative 4, and it gives me x to the third. I could simplify the 2 to 1's twice. Now I end up with a negative 1 over 2 x to the third, and there's my answer. Notice I didn't touch the negative that, that sorry, I didn't touch the negative that was involved with um, the number because that doesn't get affected that way. The only way you can get rid of a negative when the, on the numbers and not the exponents is by either adding or subtracting by a positive or multiplying by a positive or a negative in order to affect the negatives. So there's it. That one's a difficult one. I'm going to try another one right now. Let's try this one here. Okay. So this is 6a to the negative third power raised everything inside of there to the third power. So we need to break this up into its component parts. I actually like to think about this as using the distributive property, that this means this one comes raised to that power and this one raised to that power. So what that gives me is 6 raised to the third power a. Now remember when you are raising a exponent, you're supposed to multiply them together. So let's see how this works. Let's multiply a negative 3 times a 3, which gives me a negative 9. Well, how do I simplify this? I want to get rid of my negative exponent. And so so uh, we move it to the bottom, which gives us 6 to the third power divided by 9a to the ninth power. Let's make that clear. And simplified, that becomes 6 to the third power is 200 and is uh, 216 raised um, divided by a to the ninth power. Let me see if we can work it out a different way to see if there's more than two ways to do this. If we have um, 6a raised to the negative third power times third. Now remember, this negative third doesn't mean you're going to raise that sixth a. It's only applied to this a. Let's make this 6 over a to the third power. All of that raised to the third power, which once again gives me 6 to the third, a to the ninth, and that equals that, the same as this here equals that over there. Both of these equal the same thing. Two ways to skin a cat. You could go either way and still derive the correct answer. And that's 8.2 for you. Good luck.